Hello, in this video, we are creating a web application to display square and square root of numbers between 25 and 365, including 25 and 365 in tabular format. The software I'll be using for the same is NetBeans ID 8.1 with ClassWiz Server 4.1. So for creating this web application, first of all, we need to create the project. After creating the project, we need to edit index.html file, which is present inside web pages folder of our project. Then we have to create a servlet by right clicking on source packages folder. And once our servlet file is ready, we can run the project to see the output. So to create this application, we have to go to file, new project. On the screen, Java Web is by default selected. So we'll be selecting the first sub option that is Web Application. Click on Next. On this screen, we have to provide the name of the project that is Square and Root App. We can give any name to the project. From here, we can select the location, that is project location. Click on Next. On the screen, by default, ClassWiz Server 4.1 is selected. We have to click on Next. Here, no need to select any framework. We can directly click on Finish. So as we can see here, the web application has got created. After clicking this plus sign, we can find all the subfolders. We have to edit index.html page. For that, we have to go to web pages. Here is index.html. Now let's edit this file. I need to take form tag here. So this is my first tag, that is form tag. I'll be using two attributes. The first attribute is going to be method, whose value is equal to get. And then the second attribute is action, whose value will be the name of the servlet. Inside this form tag, I have to create one button. So input type is equal to submit, value is equal to display. So this is my index.html file. Now we can create the servlet. For creating the servlet, we have to go to source package, right click, new, and servlet. On this form, we have to provide the name of the servlet. So, square and root serve. This is our project name. The location for the servlet will be source packages folder. In case if suppose we want to create a subfolder, we can create it here. So, I'm creating a package name servlet. So my file that is square and root surf will be residing inside servlet folder. Click on next. Here we have to check this checkbox. So all this information will get added to the deployment descriptor of our project. Now click on finish. So this is my servlet file. As we can see here, by default, we get few packages. I'm not going to touch this part. This is the name of our servlet, which is extending HTTP servlet. So as we know that servlets are using HTTP protocol. That's why we can see the class HTTP servlet here. 
by default we get process request method but as we know that in index.html we have given method is equal to get that's why i'll be putting the code inside do get method after going down if we click on this plus sign we'll be getting two methods that is do get and do post method as we can see here i'll be putting the logic inside do get method so the very first object i'll be creating that will be out which is an object of print writer class for creating this object i need to make use of response object which is belonging to http servlet response class now here in the question they have mentioned that they are expecting the output in the table format so first of all i'll start creating the table by using out.println method here we have to provide table tag with very important attribute that is border whose value i'm giving as 1 on the next line i have to create the table row by using tr tag inside this row i'll be putting three headings that is my first heading is the number second heading will be the square of the number and my third heading will be the value of square root so i can finish the table row here itself now we need to find out the square and square root of all the numbers between 25 and 365 including 25 and 365 so for that i need to use the for loop so here i'm declaring a double variable whose value i'll be taking as 25 i need to make sure that i'm performing this task for these many values that is starting from 25 till 365 so my loops condition is i less than equal to 365 i++ plus plus. inside this for loop i have to create the table row that is by providing tr tag and along with that i am creating the table data So first of all I am printing my number that is the value of i and I'm closing the td tag After printing the number I need to print its square So for that first of all I'll be creating table data Then I can print the square of the number that is by multiplying i with itself Here I'm closing the td tag all these tags will be coming inside double quotes then i have to open one more td tag 
for storing the square root. For calculating the square root, I'm making use of SQRT function inside which I'll be providing the value of i. And after this, I am closing the td tag. And at the end, I can close my table row. So as this particular process will get repeated for these many values, we have to provide this syntax inside for loop. After completing the loop, I can close the table tag here. So this is the code of my servlet file. With the help of which I am printing the number, its square and square root. Now one very important step is we have to provide the name of our servlet file inside index.html. So here I'm copying the name of this file. And I'm providing it inside index.html. That is action is equal to the name of my servlet. So my index.html file is ready. Even my servlet file is ready. I can execute the application. For executing it, first of all, right click, clean and build the application. So as we can see here, build successful. Now again, I can right click and run the project so here this is my output i'll be clicking on this display button and this is the final output where i can find the number starting from 25 till 365 we can also find the square of these numbers along with their square root in the table format. Thank you.